Okay, so this dish I'm going to cook now is a lemon sole stir fry. Lemon sole is a really, really lovely flat fish. You can buy these fillets from our online fishmongers. It's perfect for a stir fry, but this stir fry is, I'd say it's more intermediate level because there's a few different things going on here. So the first thing I need to do is make a, a reduction. So I've got some fish stock here and about a pint of fish stock and some soy sauce. You can just use water if you need to or use one of those packet fish stocks if needed and a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm going to pop that on the heat I need to reduce that right down so it's really, really concentrated. Okay, so for the stir fry, I'm going to actually prep these lemon sole fillets just a tiny bit. So I'm just going to cut them straight down the middle just so we've got four nice fillets. I leave the skin on for this and we're going to grill these. So, so it's a nice fillet. And season that with some salt. And then skin side up. Preheat the grill to very hot. because These want to cook really, really quickly because we're going to cook these at the same time as we're cooking our stir fry. So once the reduction's finished, that's going to take probably 10 minutes. It's all going to happen really, really quickly. That's why it's it's more of an intermediate level because there's a lot of elements going on, but it's well worth it if you know if you want to impress somebody. It's nice and healthy, and also it used, can use really nice seasoned ingredients like wild garlic and samphire can go through the stir fry. So for the stir fry, you can put what you want in it, but I've got some fennel here. So and you want with any stir fry all the ingredients to cook at the same time. So I'm just going to slice it to the same thickness as the monge too, like so. That can go into a bowl. And the munch too, I'll just ch chop through once. Like so. And then in this other bowl, because that will go in first, and I've got some bean sprouts, and some baby spinach. And then also here, I've already got some chopped tomato, that's for the sauce, some chopped coriander, a bit of chopped basil. And we're finishing the sauce off with a bit of uh, fish sauce, lemon juice, and butter. Once it's finished reducing, which is going to be, yeah, in about a minute, and the I'd say the lemon sole needs about three more minutes, so I'm going to start my stir fry now. So that sauce is now reduced right down. So I'm going to take that off the heat. I'm going to add my stir fry pan and get that nice and hot. Lemon sole is getting there. So to finish this sauce, I'm just going to whisk in a bit of butter. Just giving that a quick whisk to combine the butter with the soy reduction. Again, that wants to be nice and thick, like a sort of single cream consistency, which will happen as it, as the butter emulsifies into the stock. So that emulsion is now thickening up, and my pan is hot. Get some sunflower oil. <laughs> In goes my fennel and my monge too. This is where the intermediate bit comes because I've got I've got a few balls to juggle here. So the sauce is ready. That goes down. One hand, I need to finish the sauce with some tomato and a little bit of basil and some coriander. And at the same time, I'm going to keep an eye on the lemon salt, which is down here, which is cooked. And also finish the stir fry. So in goes the spinach and the bean sprouts. Sauce is finished, lemon juice goes in, fish sauce, always put these ingredients in at the end because you don't want to reduce fish sauce, you just want to put it in at the end because it gets really salty. Coriander on top, just get some of the vegetables into the plate, fillets of fish on top of a little bed of the stir fry. And then Finish with this tomato soy sauce. There you have it. So that is lemon sole stir fry with a soy butter sauce. Like I said, bit intermediate, but well worth it with this beautiful fish available from Stein's Online Fishmongers.